Not me being completely and utterly bamboozled. Crazy work. Hold, where the f- where the fuck? Thank you. God damn. My god. Can't- I can't with TikTok doing me dirty as fuck. But also, hi everyone. Hello. Hi. I've never done goth makeup before. I decided to give it a try. The tutorial is posted. The tutorial is already posted. Thank y'all for the compliments. The compliments. We're gonna debate some bigots today. Hi, Ivy. Whilst in goth form. Okay. In the meantime, y'all hit the shares, okay? I'm thinking that this look will attract the bigots. I'm thinking it'll attract the bigots. You guys are so sweet. Stop. Stop it. Or don't. Or don't stop. That works too. Also, hi Jacob. And hi Caro. Thank you for the heart me. Let me turn my. as it goes. Thank you, Lilith. Y'all, please hop in the S-Quest if you think being lesbian is wrong. Because I don't, if you couldn't tell. Hello, Lily. Here on my knees right where you want me, Jacob. Stop. Um, I mean, you can try liking up my most recent vid. You don't have to. I, I've never experimented with that. Thank you for the heart, me. Just waiting for the ops to show up. But please hop in guest quest if you think being lesbian is wrong. And only if you think being lesbian is wrong. Now, oh, thank you for the tiny dinies. Most of my following is definitely fruity. I have crosses on because crosses are cute. That's why. That's, that's the whole reason. Thank you, Eli. Thank you, Catherine. Mom here. Where Hello? Thank you, little Lori. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a child? I think that's a child. Oh, well, I'm, I'm so sorry to break it to you, my love, but I don't believe in God or Jesus, and I will continue to wear crosses because they're cute. So cope, I guess. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I will I will take the compliment nonetheless. Thank you for the tiny diny. Hi, Caitlin. Y'all, please, if you're an op, stop being an op in the comments and be an op in my guest requests. Hello, Ali. Much love to you, too. Mwah.
absolutely agreed, Faith. Why the fuck are you worshipping your... Your, um... Why are you worshipping your god's schmurder weapon? That, that doesn't make any sense. White face is diabolical work. White face is not real. Some interesting people in here, for real, for real. Hello? All you ladies pop your pussy like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. All you ladies pop your pussy like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. Just do. Oh. Oh. I was, I was gonna pop my pussy like this. I was gonna shake my body and not stop and not miss. Damn. Damn. Hello? Ooh. Hello? Hello? Okay, well, bye, I guess. Hello? Yo, what's up, Sam? Hi, nothing much. I'm vibing. How are you? I do that. I'm chilling. I'm glad. Why Can't remember you? if you're an op or not. Oh, yeah, I'm an op. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm one of your biggest ops. Lord have mercy. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Absolutely. And why is that? Well, one, because it makes you want to paint your face however you painted it. You put that cross on your forehead. This is goth. You know there are straight goths, right? Like, I'm not even goth. I just tried the, the style. But... Are you religious? Okay. No. Why did you put that cross on your forehead then? Because it was part of the inspo that I saw. For goths. So, uh, you just that's just a meaningless symbol to you? Yeah, pretty much. It's cute. What do you think? Oh. Jennifer, thank you for the $20. Kind of a to moment the for the makeup. That's so sweet. Insulting to the Christians in the, in, in the comments. Think, well, think it's only insulting to the Christians if they don't think understand the, history. I think the cross that their savior died on is cute. Yeah, it's it's pretty cute. It's sick. I'm so sorry. Uh, you should be. Okay. Um. Anyways. Yeah. So like, yeah, being lesbian is just like. Thank you for the heart. Man. It's like a waste of pussy, my, in my opinion. Now, Moz, don't kick him. I know, I know that that was one of the most disgusting things you've ever heard in your life. You know? But don't kick him. Just, just don't, just don't do it. Right. It's anyway, a waste of, a waste of pussy. Uh -huh. Cute. Okay, so who's to say that a lesbian would want their pussy anywhere near some random guy's dick? Well, it's a shame it's not. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It could be. Thank you for the $5, Scarlett. Also, you better use this as club and spoke. You better be popping your What's pussy point? with goth makeup on. For real, for real. What's the point of, like, lesbians playing with themselves with dildos? Like you're clearly longing for the, for you're clearly longing for the real thing, you know what I mean? Like just well, no. Just when you have sex with a woman, are you attracted to the woman or are you attracted to her pussy? Both. But you're still attracted to the woman, right? The pussy's trash, not attracted to her. 
So her personality, her face, her body, like none of that. It's just her pussy that you're attracted to. It's both. It's both. Okay, it's cute. Both. So pussy, the you, woman yeah. is a part of it. The pussy is a part of it too, yes. Okay, great. So the thing about a dildo is there's no man attached to it. They don't want the man. They just want their, their G-spot stimulated. Well, usually something phallic is a good, a is a good man, shape for that. There's a man, there's a, there's a man that, that, that can do that for them that they would tolerate. You just haven't found well, that man. Well, no. So they're settling. They don't, they don't want a man. They're settling for the, they're settling for the dildo. They, they really have nothing want. to settle for. Most really lesbians don't even really use dildos anyway. Most lesbians, statistically speaking anyway, use oral or their fingers. There are men that could do that. They don't want the man part. They don't want the certain kind of man part. No, they, they just don't want the man, period. Are you saying I don't know why this is so hard to understand. Do you want a man? No, I want a woman. Okay, so then neither do they. I, I don't understand what's so hard about that. Um, cause I'm not, I'm not, les like a lesbian would be a gay woman. I'm not a gay man. Exactly. You don't want a man and neither do they. It's really that easy. Unless you do want a man secretly, you just haven't found the right one yet. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, Is that I'm, it? Have you just not found the right man? You need to go out there looking because someone can do it for you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm firm on my, on my stance. And so are the lesbians. They they don't want cock, and neither do you, unless you do, which is fine. That's fine. But yeah, they are using a cheap imitation of cock. They're using something that's shaped in a way that will make them feel good. That happens to be dildos. So they use them. A but man's. if they really wanted a man, why the fuck would they use a dildo that looks like a fucking rainbow? Or like, like a fucking, like a dragon cock? Or um, like a horse cock or something. Why would like, you why the fuck? want a toy and, you know, labor to please yourself when a man can do that for you? Because they don't want a man. I, you're you're really emphasizing how important it must be to really love men like you love them yourself. Like there's no other reasonable explanation for this. I mean, I, I mean, like, I love myself. No, no other other men, not not you. I love myself. I love, yeah, no, that's not. I love what I can provide to the you know what I'm saying to my female counterpart. And, right, and so do lesbians. You know what I'm saying? I, I love I love the sexual, you know, experiences that I can create because, you know, I'm a I'm a man. You love your sexual experiences because you're a man? Yeah. Yes. You know, there's a lot to unpack there, but moving swiftly along, you don't want cock. If you saw a cock, you would be adverse. When lesbians see cock, they're also adverse. I don't believe that. I just don't, I, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, f I feel like they're in denial. I could say the same thing about you and you would just say no. So why should I be inclined to believe that every lesbian on the planet secretly desires cock real, real bad? What's the, um, what's the, uh, the lesbian couple survival rating? Survi survival rating? Yeah, like, like. What do you mean like, survival? Like, like, there, as far as the relationship goes, like, are, are they, are they like, is, is there longevity there? They stay together? I don't know what you're asking me right now. Do lesbian couples normally stay together for, for oh, a long time? Oh, I'm not sure. I uh, I don't think so. Okay, do you have a source for this? I feel like you don't. I'm asking you if you have a source for this, because I said, mm -hmm. I don't know. You're saying you feel like they don't, which is yeah. your claim. So, do you have like a source for this, or like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like say, I'm gonna say no, they don't. 
I'll say it again. No, no, me. yeah, that that's your claim, right? Bizarre, so, like, you have anything to back that up? Infidelity? Mm. Men are more likely to cheat than women. For real? Yeah. For women, it's around 16%. And for men, it's around 32 If I have my numbers correct. So, so men are more likely to cheat, huh? Well, yeah, if men are more likely to cheat, then you could say that two queer men would, by proxy, be more likely to cheat, but that would be correlation causation fallacy. I'd have to look into that. So. What are we looking at as far as lesbian couples go? I, I also don't know. I, I personally don't go into uh, what certain demographics of people are doing in their free time, like in the bedroom. It would be helpful for the topic. It's not my business. It would be helpful for the topic. Well, not necessarily. Because right now, your whole claim has just been it no make no sense. How women not want peen? And it's very simple it grosses them out. I don't know why I would need infidelity like stats for that. Out, I feel like it grosses out the ones that, like, maybe have had some traumatic experiences growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, getting the peen. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you been traumatized by cock before? Is that why you don't want penis? Because you've been traumatized by cock? No. So then why would that have to be the requirement for them? Oh. Thank you for the $10, Jacob. Jacob, please. Please, Jacob. No, he didn't run. Jacob gave me 10 bucks to kick him. Hello? Yo. Hi. How old are you? 26. What year were you born? 98. It's my username. Oh, okay. I just... Sometimes people lie to my face. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Yeah. It's super wrong. Why is that? Because that means I don't have a chat. Moving swiftly along. Um... Wow, just, 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 just no. Simply and utterly no. Just, hello? Hello. Hi, how old are you? I'm 18. What year were you born? 05, December 05. What state are you from? CT. But I came here. CT. <laughs> CT. Hello. Hello. Hi, how old are you? 26. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Um, I just had another, I kind of had a question for you. Oh, okay. I, like, I'm not trying to start anything. I'm just curious, like, how you decided to get the tattoo on your forehead. Like, did you grow up Christian or you just got it for fun or? You know, my whole face is white and the rest of me is brown. So how would you be able to see? Jacob, stop kicking people! <laughs> stop! Let people be dumb. It's entertaining. Let people be dumb. Hello? Hello. Hi. How old are you? 18. Ooh, echo. Echo is bad. Echo is bad. Re re request. I'm sorry. Ow. Very very painful. Not very mindful. Damn sure not very demure.
Not very demure whatsoever. Thank you for reaching. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hi, how old are you? I'm eight, I'm 19. Okay. Um, do you, wait, what year were you born? 2005. Okay, thank you for the roses, Lex. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? No, nah, I'm a lesbian myself. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I just feel like- I love that for you. I just feel like a lot of people say it's a choice. Thank you for the money gun. It's, I, I just feel like a lot of people shouldn't have a say so on how somebody feel about what they like. You get what I'm saying? I agree. Um, however, comma, I am only looking for opposition. So while I appreciate your presence, I'm going to move on to the next guest. I'm not, thank you for coming I'm not a boy, y'all. I'm a whole female. Check my profile. I'm 18. I mean, 19. I was born July 28, 2005. Thank you. Fuck. It got all, it got awfully, it got awfully intense. It got awfully intense. Indeed. All right. Moving on to the next guest. Hello? Hello? Oh, interesting. What type of... What, what type of... What's going on today? What is in the water? Thank you for the elephant, Scott. Also, follow me if you fuck with me, if you don't already. And Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal are in the bio. Hello? Hello. Hi, how old are you? 19. Okay, what year were you born? 2005. What month? May. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Yeah. Why? Because it says it in the Bible. Am I being trolled right now? No. Really? <laughs> yes. Use a damn lie. But at least be good at lying next time, okay? Please? Please. Thank you. Moving on to the next guess. Y'all, please hop on guest quest if you think being lesbian is wrong. And only if you think being lesbian is wrong. Hello? Hello? Yo. Hi. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 16, nigga. Oh. Well, that's not... You can't... You have to be 18. But also... How, why why so ghetto why so ghetto i don't understand hello hello thank you for a little crown scott hi how old are you i'm 19. what year were you born 2005. what month august okay do um, you think being lesbian is wrong no i don't i just wanted to say that i think you're very pretty Thank you so much, my love. You're welcome. That's basically enjoy it. the rest. I'll enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. To the to the people who are asking why is that ghetto, you didn't hear the end part. Um, he said, and I quote, "I'm 16, nigga," and I found that to be incredibly ghetto myself. But like, that's just me, though. You know, may maybe that's not ghetto. Maybe that's upper echelon, and I'm just I'm tripping. Maybe maybe I'm tripping. You know, Dylan, Dylan, please please stop. Hello. Hello. Okay. Goodbye.
I, I was glowing. That was very weird. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. When your necklace is broke, that's horrible. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. <clears throat> Hello? What's up? Hi, how old are you? 21. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Yeah. Why is that? Because you're committing white face. Really? Yeah. Okay. If I did that, I'd be wrong, right? If I did it the other way around. I can't tell if you're being serious right I'm now. I'm being or not. so dead serious. Please tell me you're joking. If I wore brown face paint on my face, please I would tell be me you're racist, joking. right? Aren't you literally black? No. Who's that in your profile picture? It's Bestie? called Joel Embiid. He's a famous NBA player. His oh. eye stopped working in the playoffs last year. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Um. Anyways, can you stop committing white face? This is so wrong. I feel highly offended <laughs> by this. I don't think Joe Biden or Kamala Harris would support this. Because my feelings are getting hurt right now. So, you know. I'll send you a check in the mail for exactly $16 I need, I with need, my sincerest apologies. I need re repercussions for this. You mean reparations? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I got you with the $16 in the mail. That's, that's, that's great. That's crazy fucking work. That's diabolical work. Anyway, y'all follow me if you fuck with me. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. Hi, how old are you? Thank you for the roses, Ivy. I'm 24. What year were you born? 1999, October 1st. Cute. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Honestly, shit. If you're a lesbian, bro, I don't lie to you. Is it just me, or am I the only guy who's attracted to lesbians, bro? Like all the lesbians are, are like all the good, all the good-looking girls are fucking lesbians, and that shit pisses me off. I'm gonna be, like, I'm being dead honest with you. All the good-looking girls are lesbians. Just gonna, just gonna move very swiftly along very swiftly along yeah i'm just gonna just gonna move right along yeah yeah anyway thank you for the corgi ivy okay. hello hey what's up hi have you been here before yeah yeah okay do you wondering. think being lesbian is wrong no, no, no. I was just wondering how you got your nose to look like that. Oh, with black eyeshadow. How's it? How's it shining? It looks like an actual like. It looks like my refrigerator. <laughs> Highlight. What do you put in the tip of your nose that makes it shine like that? Is that just white? Hi Highlight. <sighs> really? Yeah. Hey, I'm okay. Yeah, all right, not bad, not bad. Still more like it. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank right. you, I try. All right, all right, buddy. Still more this is the highlight in question for anyone who was wondering. It's from Rude Cosmetics. That was a cute interaction. I needed that. Then come up here and request about it, Olivia. Stop bitching in my comments. <laughs> This person is not joining. 
He did say it looks like his refrigerator. That must be one sexy refrigerator. Thank you guys so much for all the compliments on my makeup. You guys are oh. making me feel so warm and fuzzy. Hello? Hello. Hi. How old are you? Uh, 19. I just got off Where were you born? No, no, no. I, I love lesbians, mate. Um, what is it? My a lesbian couple that I'm friends with fucking got me a Rolex. It was sweet. Sick. But, um, oh, no. Yeah, I know. But sadly, they misinterpreted what I said when I said I want to watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, interesting. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Thank you, thank you for the roses. Hello? Hi man, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Um, how old are you? I'm a lot older than you are. Can I have a year? Can you not tell by my accent? No. Yeah, I'm not here to tell you jokes about watches and stuff like that. I just really think your makeup's That's really nice. cool. Oh, I'm, well thank you. I'm being, quite, I'm being sincere here and uh, as being lesbian wrong, not at all, be who you want to be. Put on makeup, be cool. Yeah, I just thought I'd, I was going through my lives and I just thought that uh, you look really cool. So I just thought I'd come on and say hi. But yeah, I'm really well, old. Thank you. I'm a lot old. I'm a lot, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 20. Um, I have 40. to ask because You're 40. TikTok terms of service. 20. You're 40. 20. You're 40. <laughs> Did you say you were 40? 2 0. Oh, 20. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, you look, you look pretty fun. Uh, be a lesbian. Be what you want to be. Look after people. And uh, yeah, don't uh, buy watches from these other people that come on. And uh, yeah, that probably wouldn't be a very sound financial decision. What you, do you know what? I bet you. I bet you got a lot. Of, I'm I'm uh, Scottish, by the way. I don't know if you can understand by my edge. <laughs> but uh, I bet you. Uh, got I, I gathered from the username. Ah, that kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Yeah. Quite. Do you know what? I, I, I'll need to change that because people keep stereotyping me. Uh, I, th I think I need to change my username. <laughs> that uh, that yeah, might that might be anyway, entirely uh, on you. It's it's going your, well. What's your time uh, over there? What I mean is it like morning, evening? I actually don't. It's it's evening. Um, I actually don't know what time it is right now. Hold on. You, when you oh, get Michael caught up in the TikTok me. lives, yeah, that could be. Mm. It could be any time, couldn't it? But. Yeah, I think you're pretty cool, and I like your hair, and uh, I like that you like that why is being lesbian wrong, not a bad thing. <laughs> Thank you. I have to move on to the next guy because I'm only looking for opposition and you're being very Okay, sweet. well, listen, if you, want, if you want anyone to insult you in the future, don't invite me in, okay? I'm just no, here to give you compliments and say have a lovely day and God bless you or Buddha bless you, Allah bless you. Jarasta bless you and yeah, keep up the good work for yeah yourself and and don't yeah don't give up the hairstyle. I love it. Thank you very much. Take care and see all these haters that are going to be hitting on you. Just mm -hmm. uh, send them over to my page. Yeah, I'll deal with them. Period. Thank you. Done. <laughs> bye bye. Done, sister. I feel I I, I fear I've been rizzed. I fear I have been rizzed. I've been rizzed, I fear. Hello? Hi. Man, that Hi. moment started with positive aura and then got negative. Um, <laughs> I think that it was fine, it was totally chill, but then Chapel Rome came along and now it's cringe. Are you hating on my queen, Chapel Roan, right now? I'm sorry, she's like the most manufactured, like, plant ever. Are I you she, denying like, like Chapel Roan talent? One of her songs is good, but she's like so cringe. Why do you think this? All respect, respectfully, you know, to you. You're great. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. But also, her talent is undeniable. Uh. <laughs> 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 
I will cry myself to sleep tonight at the mere prospect that Chapel Roan is not one of the voices of our generation. I will sob into my pillow. Hello. Hello. Hi, how old are you? 23. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Uh, yeah, I think being lesbian is wrong. Why is that? I mean, I have no personal problems with lesbians. I actually love them, but my argument is that lesbian is wrong because morality is uh, subjective. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much it's wrong because I said so. Right, but like, why? Because morality is subjective. No, yeah, but like, what? What is backing up the reason why you think it's wrong morally? Oh, wow! Well, like, what I are your morals think it's based wrong? on? Yeah, that that is that is the question that I asked. Yes. Um, because it uh doesn't promote reproduction. Oh, okay. So, do you think being infertile is wrong? Sorry, say that again. Do you think being infertile is wrong? Being infertile is wrong? No, no, I don't think so. Right, but like that's not promoting reproduction, though. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, women were born with the capacity to reproduce. You know, um, non fertile ones. If the person is not um fertile. You know, it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, they weren't supposed to be like that, is my point. Supposed? According to who? Um, laws of nature. Biology. Laws of nature? Mm. What are the laws of nature? Bi biology. How does biology tell you what is supposed to be? Yeah, uh, the, the way we're designed, the way we're, we're, our anatomy is set up, we're supposed to be... Designed by who? Reproducing. Designed are by who? Are you disagreeing with me? Yeah. Oh, really? Why is that? Because we have functions. We don't have a purpose. Like, design implies a creator. And I'm atheist, so I don't believe there yeah, is I'm a creator. Yeah, I'm atheist, too. I don't, I don't believe there's a creator, either. Right, so then what do you mean by design? Um, the way our anatomy functions, we're supposed to be reproducing. So, you know, supposed is an ought claim, right? Like, that's a moral declaration how how does biology tell you what is and is not moral we are i mean listen i i, I the word i'm going to use is design we're designed to reproduce every well, living no, if, you, if you use the word design then it implies a conscious mind but if you're an atheist then you don't believe in a conscious mind not so what do you mean I don't, by I don't design think, i don't think you'd have you have to um believe in a god in order to think we're, we're, we're fine-tuned to, to do something? Well, it doesn't have to be a god necessarily, but it has to be some kind of like higher power or someone that's capable of designing the entirety of humanity. So... Is that just your opinion or is that a fact? Well, no. Factually, designs have to come from a conscious mind. Biology or, nor nature is a singular conscious being. So... All right, let me, let me look into that. Okay. So, could we go off the definition of design? Sure. All right, uh, it says design, a plan, or a joint. Sorry, my cats are going crazy. The design, uh, design a plan or a joint produced to show the look and function of working and building garments or objective. Uh, da, da, that's not the definition I'm looking for. Design. Um, yeah, so it's not really talking about what we're we're talking about. But anyways, um, yeah, I mean, like every living organism, um, I'm gonna say purpose is to reproduce. That's just a fact. Down to the bacteria on your face, down to the, and I, and I don't mean in a disrespectful way. We all have bacteria on our face, but you know. Are we just gonna ignore the definition, or? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. It just doesn't relate to what we're talking about. I'll read the definition. It, 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 I mean, you did read it. It is related. How, how design so? is a plan. Do you think biology or nature can plan things? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you think nature as a, as an entity 
planned everything out. Maybe, all right, so listen, maybe design is not the word, but I think you know what I'm talking about when I say designed or the way, um, say for example, all right, so what would you call, um, like when it rains, you know, how, how, how that works? You mean the water like, cycle? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you call what it? What about it? What would you call that? Would you, what would you describe that as? Is that a design? Like, what would, you, what would you describe that as? A function of the planet. A function, okay. So could you say the same about human anatomy? Yeah, human anatomy has functions. That is correct. Okay, and the way we're supposed to function is well, no. reproduced. Supposed, again, supposed is an ought claim. Nature cannot subscribe to morality. That's the problem. You repeat that last word? Nature does not have morality. Nature is not like a like an acting agent. Mm -hmm. it, it just exists. So to say that we have things that are supposed to be a certain way, that that's the part that I don't agree with. We do have functions, but in that same breath, why do you have a prostate? No idea. You tell me. Do you know what the prostate does? No. no it it delivers hormones, but also it's a really, really pleasurable bundle of nerve endings up your ass. Of course. And whenever it's stimulated, it's orgasmic as fuck. And it's in men. Of course. Resume. Well, <laughs> yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right. Press play. Well, it's good hearing you. So, what's that for? What's that? What's that for? Your prostate. I don't know. Since you know our functions equal purpose, why do you have a bundle of nerve endings similar to that of the clit? So you don't. You don't believe up your ass. The prostate. I mean, I would have to look at. I don't know. I'm telling you straightforward. I, I don't know, but I'm. I'm pretty sure it has a purpose for being there. I just don't know the purpose. No, yeah, they, they has a bunch of different functions, but purpose and function are not the same thing. What's the which difference? Which is why I'm asking you, the, the difference is purpose is designated by someone with a conscious mind. Function is just an ability that something has. Mm. All right, well, I'm gonna have to educate myself more on these, these words and terms that you're, you're using to describe it, but yeah, that was my argument. Okay. Well, thank you for coming up. Appreciate it for having me. Bye bye. Bye. Moving on to the next guest. I love how whenever I start talking about the prostate is when people decide it's time to flood into my guest requests. Like, crazy fucking work. Yo. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hi. Yes, I can. How old Hello. are you? 18. Will you reborn? 2006 in April. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? No, no, but I will say this. Why is it that every time I try to go ask a girl I like out, I come to find out she a lesbian? Why is that? That that break my heart real bad. Because like I can't if I would have known before, I would have never tried to ask her out and then I look like an idiot. Why is that? How do you how are you supposed to tell? Wait, but like, why are you asking girls out when you don't know them well enough to know if they're lesbian or not? No, I do, but I don't. I never know they were lesbian because they don't tell me. What do you mean skill issue? Who say skill issue? Skill issue. Who say skill issue? What do you mean skill, skill issue? issue? Who say skill issue? Hey, no skill issue. Skill issue. Let me tell you, I played the dating sim games. I know how this works. I played the dating sim games. Okay, let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. I, I fear the dating sim games are not giving you uh, the no. information that you require. What I'm you so mean? so okay, sorry. Okay, what about I'm the so anime? Sorry. What about the anime? The anime, anime get, get the fuck. Get, come on. I, 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 I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck in the dating pool. All right. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Anyway, follow me if you fuck with me. Cash app, Venmo, Hello. and PayPal are in the bio. Hi, how old are you? 27. Thank you for all the roses. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Yes. Why is that? My morality. Right, yeah. but like why? Yeah, my morals. I'm religious, Christian. 
Oh, okay. So you you think it's wrong because of Christianity? Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. Yeah. Am I being trolled right now? No, you're being. It's a sin. You you could go to hell if you stay a lesbian. I really I really feel like I'm being trolled right now. Look at my bio. My it says Jesus. You're. You can't debate <laughs> Christians. You can't debate Christians. <laughs> it's not that I can't debate Christians. You can't debate Christians. It sounds like you're eating a bowl of cereal right now. Well, yeah, it's very you hard look, for me to take this seriously. I can't take you serious looking like that. Well, that's fine, but why are you eating a bowl of cereal? I'm eating waffles looking at you. With like a, you eating waffles? You look like you play in the kiss game. You, you eating them hoes dry? Thank you. You eating them hoes dry? No, I got peanut butter syrup and uh, butter. Why do they sound so crunchy? I'm a man. <laughs> that's fine. Listen. <laughs> okay. okay. Lesbi lesbian is immorally wrong. Immorally wrong, yeah. period. Um, and you said it's because you're Christian. Can you prove to me that God is real? Why do we have to go there to that debate? Well, I'm not Christian. I don't hold your values. So you have to prove to me that hey, your listen, morality matters. So if I wasn't Christian, you could be lesbian. You could be whatever you want. But since I am Christian, I have a high morality to stand to. No, yeah, I gathered that, but I don't subscribe to your morality because I am not Christian. So you have to prove to me that your God is real. Prove to you my God's real. All right. Um, the Bible says that nobody can say Jesus is Lord without the Holy Spirit. So can you confess in front of 500 people that Jesus is Lord? You don't even have the Holy Spirit. So you should be able to prove my Bible wrong by saying Jesus is Lord since you don't have the Holy Spirit. But it says nobody can say it without the Holy Spirit. So go ahead and say Jesus is Lord. Are you serious? Yeah. If you could say it, you just prove the Bible. Go ahead. Are, are, are you are you dead ass? You're shaking right now. Go ahead and say Jesus is Lord. I'm scratching my knee. That bitch itchy. All right. I lost two layers Confess, of skin on this knee. Jesus is Lord. You disproved that verse. Hmm. I'll repeat it again. The verse says... Nobody without the Holy Spirit, which you don't have, I have it, can say Jesus is Lord. Go ahead and say it. I feel like this gonna get clipped. It's not getting clipped. You're gonna disprove the Wait, 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 wait. You said this is from the Bible, right? Yeah. You can't use the Bible to prove You're the Bible. You're scared to say Jesus is Lord. That proves he's real. Look how scared you are. Because I have a public image where I am an atheist, yes. I don't want people clipping me saying Look that because I don't believe it. Look how scared you are. That shows you the power of God. But you just proved the Bible to be true. You can't say it. Thank you. She can't say it, guys. She's scared. Because the demons won't let her say it. Just say it. It's really simple. Go ahead. Say Jesus is Lord. You'll just prove the verse. You don't have to be scared. It's the truth. Say it. You don't want to disprove me in front of 500 people? I'm not even recording. I don't even have a lot of followers. I got eight followers on my page. Eight followers. What am I going to post you? I got her silent. Jesus muted her. <laughs> Yo. That's crazy work. That's crazy fucking work. I, you can't use the Bible to prove the Bible. Your argument is circular. So you can't. Say I have no reason to entertain this. It's that. Stop muting people. Guys, stop. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. So I know why you can't say it because I uh, I believe in Christian. I believe Jesus is alive. He's real. The reason you can't say it is because you don't believe and you well, just. No, I have no reason to entertain this argument because you're using the Bible to prove the Bible, which is circular. No. What do you yes. Guys, she couldn't say it. Daniel sends me five dollars on PayPal. Thank you, Daniel. Let me Daniel, ask you serious question. I'm not gonna lie to you. You. Damn, that's your name. Sure. Yeah, that's that my name. Why you jump scared me? He said. Why can't you say it though? Be honest. Because I'm not gonna entertain your argument if it's circular. Just be honest. Why can't you confess that to yourself? There's nothing to confess. I don't believe that he's real. But if you don't believe he's real, 
that means you should disprove what I just told you and say Jesus is Lord anyways. Because it's just, well, I already did. Your argument's circular. You're you, saying you the Bible is real it. because the Bible says this thing. It does. That doesn't make any sense. You still haven't confessed Jesus is Lord to disprove my Bible. Hold on. All right. One second. Amen. Jesus is Lord in front of 500 people. Repent of your sins. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm not repentant for shit. But, hold on. H -I -T -T -I -T -I. Amen. Take me home to Jesus still loves you. I mean, it's it's your sin, Sam. So, that's all it is. Is sin. Okay, so all I have to say is Jesus is Lord, and it proves your point. It proves my point, right? Yeah, it took you forever. Go ahead. I just said it. No, say I be I confess Jesus is Lord. Well, no, you didn't. You didn't say I have to say I confess. <laughs> you can't. You, you, you didn't say that part. You're paraphrasing me. You're I said. Paraphrasing me. Okay, but I, but I said it though. No, you paraphrase what I said. Well, I didn't you paraphrase to, anything. See how scared you had to look it up. I directly quoted you. Well, you actually, I was gonna me, look it up and I say. Just, I was gonna look it up and say it in Spanish, actually. But then I remembered I don't have to say it the way that you want me to. Just, I just have just to say exactly what you it. said. You paraphrase. That's it. not what paraphrase means. Uh huh. You used your fingers too. Anyways, you did say it, but because you were paraphrasing me, but I'm happy you said it. But you don't—that's not what paraphrase means. You don't believe it. I don't. All right, uh, but that's why I get my morals from, and that's why I believe lesbians wrong. Right, but you didn't prove to me that your your God is real, so. Uh, to prove he's real, you have to, it's the Bible. You deny the Bible. You can't use the Bible to prove that. Why Bible can't you use the Bible to prove Jesus is real? Because that's a circular argument. It's not a circular. No. That is a circular. Do you want me to explain to you why that's circular? Okay, let me. Let's use something. Hold up. All right. Don't prove Jesus is real without the Bible. Give me an example of something else. Like, you can like use that. archaeological evidence. You can use a logical argument. Um, you can use, like, studies. Anything of that nature. It has to be something that's not from the Bible. That would make your argument circular. No, like, you can't prove Jesus is real without the Bible. You can't prove Jesus is real. Because you, you don't want me to use the Bible. You want me to use an outside source. It has to be an outside source. Why does it have to be an outside source? If your reasoning for, for God existing is because the Bible says so, then if you use the Bible for why, that's a circular argument. Well, without the Bible... You're saying the Bible is real because the Bible says it's real. Like, that's not... <laughs> That's where we get a uh, uh, foundation from, though. Right, that's fine, but that wouldn't prove that your God is real. Like, you would just be giving me the outline for your tenants, which is fine, but it doesn't prove anything. Okay, let me... What's, uh, what else? Okay. I can't show you God. It's only through faith. Yeah, so it's good. People have visions, they have dreams, and then you won't believe that if you had a vision of Christ. You would deny nope. it. Do you deny visions? Yeah, because visions can be explained by a lot of things. Like psychosis, hallucinations, um, anxiety, depression, um, having not enough sleep. Were you a Christian? Like that, that Were you a Christian before? I was. Wait, hold on. Okay. My mother telling me to check this cord. This cord and how now the moon. Just leave it in the middle of a summer afternoon. And why do you have a cross on? Hold on. Okay. Why do you have a cross? And why do you have like a cross on in your head? 
because it's cute. <laughs> so to be honest, was your intention to, when you brought Why Lesbians Wrong, you wanted Christians to join? Well, no, Christians just automatically join because usually if you're not Christian, you don't really care unless you're a man. Exactly, because of morality, right? Well, because their morality specifically says that being lesbian is wrong. Yeah. But like, that's not, it's not my fault that that's who joins, like. Yeah, but. Chris, like, this, anything, this, it's this, annoying when Christians join because they give me the same arguments every time. People, like, there's Christians that believe it's okay to be lesbian. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But you're just not one of them. No, I mean, they can. Which is fine. They can, when Christians that say it's okay to be that, and, uh, yes, Jesus, as Christians, Jesus loves you, No, you know, but when you try to comfort sin, you, you're not, you're confusing your teachings of Christianity. Yes, he accepts you, but he doesn't accept your sin and your behavior to keep acting upon this one sin. Just like if I was to go fornicate, right? Oh yeah, Jesus loves me, but it doesn't mean I can keep fornicating, sitting with husband you can't you gotta try to stop acting upon it okay but like you still haven't proved to me that god is real though so like i have no reason to believe this yeah so it's just like we me and you we could get we could test our morals right would you want someone that has better morals than you what do you mean by better morals morality like you would want to follow somebody with good morals yeah right that's why you want like if you were to Let's, for example, president. And I'm not gonna bring the names up, but you would pick one certain president because maybe you like their morals better than the other, right? Mm -hmm. Same here. Uh, your morals. God thinks slavery is okay. God thinks slavery is okay. No, slavery. Yeah. So slavery was in the Bible. I don't want to get hit because people might report me. What could we say? What, what, what's a TikTok word for that? For what? S L A B. E. You, you can say it. You could? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so uh, slavery was in the Bible, but God regulated it. Because men, so when men was doing it. That bestie, he commanded it. Give me the verse. Sure. Yeah, I got my Bible right here. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he regulated it. Regulate is definitely a word. It's not one I would use, but you know. Everybody's asleep. Even in the New Testament, Paul talks about it. He says, "Master or slaves, be, oh masters, be good to your slaves." Well, yeah, that's that's not what I'm talking. About. Yeah. <laughs> it's very much not what I'm talking. About. You're a slave to your government, society. But we know who the one master is. It's Jesus Christ. When you're in school, you're a slave to your teachers, your principals. Everything you do, you're a slave. But that's good? No, that's how life is. That's why there's one master, though. Christ. When you talk about slavery in the Old Testament, it's regulated and it's, it's not like well, you no, got... I'm, I'm talking about actual slavery. I'm not talking about no, this was... Back then, it wasn't about color, like you guys are trying to bring up. I, I didn't say anything about color. Yeah, this slavery wasn't about color. It wasn't about... That doesn't mean it's okay. It's regulated. Again, slavery was regulated. They We're going to go through... Your the, male and female slaves are to come from the nations around you. From them, you may buy slaves. You may also buy some of the temporary residents living among you and members of their clans born in your country, and they will become your property. You can bequeath them to your children what verse? as I have to go property. to the verse. Leviticus 25, verses 44 through 46. Leviticus 25, 46? 46. 44 through 46. Leviticus 20. And I think it's servant for the slave order. It's not servant. No? It's, sla it's slave. Okay, twenty five forty six. Yeah. 
and you should take them as an inheritance for your children after you to inherit them for your a possession they shall be your bondmen forever but over your brother and children of israel you should not rule over one another with rigor that's it 46 44 through 46. Oh, 44. i got the king james version yes yeah, all right bondmen and bondmaids which you have shall be the heathen it's hard to read this one man do, can you read the esv for me because kjv is hard english I do have a speech impediment. Hey, yo, I better not see anybody in the, what's it called, in the comments talking about anyone's speech impediment, or I will block that ass. As for your male and female slaves whom you may have, you may buy male and female slaves from among the nations that are around you. You may also buy from among the strangers who sojourn with you and their clans that are with you who have been born in your land, and they may be your property. You may bequeath them to your sons after you to inherit as possession forever. You may make slaves of them, but over your brothers, the people of Israel, you shall not rule one over another. Yeah, so I got a key note here. It says, a poor Israelite could sell himself to a wealthy foreigner, but he kept the right to redemption at any time by a relative or himself because he ultimately belonged to God. If that did not happen, the nation of Israel was responsible to make sure he was not mistreated and that he was released in the year. So I guess, again, not mistreated. And this is a poor Israelite. Well, no, you're talking about the Israelites selling themselves. This message is from Moses that's been imparted onto Moses from God himself. And he's telling the Israelites to take slaves. That's different. I mean, this is 4,000 years ago. You know that? It's still his word. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing's wrong with it if they're not mistreating the slaves. The work is. So you think it's fine to take people as property as long as you don't beat them to death? They would take care of them. They feed them. This is this is like a job. You ever? You, oh, this they, is a job. That's not a job. You don't own people as property when you're when you employ them. Employers. This is 4,000 years ago. That does not Damn. make it okay. You have no idea about what it was back then. You have no idea how slavery worked back then. If it's that mistreating them, that's totally... I'm going to try listen, and help you. That's again, we don't live during them possible. times, though. But God sir, regulated it. That's, what I, that's all I can say. Sir? It doesn't disprove God's God? Voice. God knows past, present, and future. Yep. He is all-powerful and all-knowing. And he regulates he it. He knew. He knew. That at some point, there would be a time where we would view slavery as something impermissible. God does not change, right? God is an, an unchanging individual, and he is righteous, apparently. But he's saying, despite knowing that eventually slavery is going to be viewed as immoral, he's not just regulating slavery. He's telling people to go take the slaves. No, no. This like, it'd be is, again, one thing if they already damn, had slaves and then they damn, were like, treat says, them well. It, it's poor, he said, go get them. It's poor Israelites. Poor. It's not poor Israelites. These people, He's not talking about taking the Israelites. People, He's telling listen, the Israelites to take other slaves. These people would be homeless, no food to feed themselves. It's a job, just like you have a job today. No, this is not totally a job. Totally different. We do, have a government. Do you, know, Listen, do you know what slave means? Your slave you're using today is different than slavery back then. You just don't understand. You're using slave in the metaphorical sense. No, you I'm again, saying are you a slave to your slave. government? No. The government. So how do you live? How does your parents have a job? My dad's dead. God rest his soul. How, how do you live? I work. And they have your social security number of the government? Yes. You're a slave to society, okay? They'll have all control I don't, of I don't you. think you know what slave is. That's slavery, is. honey. You could don't control that's yourself. Not, Do you control that's yourself? Not what Do you control yourself? Yes. No, you don't. That's why you live in a law, law of the land, and you're a slave to your society, you're a slave to the government. Well yeah, if Again, you that's live slavery. in society, everybody's a, a slave. Everybody's a that's slave. That's not what slavery means. Yes, it does. So just it's just not. You're comparing that slavery to this let's, slavery. Let's look, up, let's look up the definition of slavery real quick, because it sounds like you might be in denial. You can quit her job, slavery. but then she'll be homeless, and nobody's gonna take care of her. Like just, 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 just look. 
I just honey the host, my bad. You don't like that? I'm so sorry, Sam. I don't, but thank you for your How is that slavery? Because you don't, you can't overrule the government. A person who is forced to work for and obey and is considered to be their property. Yep. Yeah, I'm not talking about metaphorical slaves. I'm saying their life was signed over. Were they poor? Were they poor slaves, or, or were they had, if they weren't? No, no, they were rich. God was saying that the people around them were acting in an unholy or sinful way. So it was the job of the Israelites to help God in reprimanding them by taking them as slaves. It had nothing to do with them being okay. a place what they, to stay. What did they do to the slaves that was immoral? Go ahead. Having slaves to begin with is immoral. Says you, but show me what they did immoral. Did they starve them? Do you them? think? Wait, 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 Damn. wait, Did they wait, starve wait, them? Wait, I'm being honest. Wait, Did they starve wait. them to death? Do, before, they before them? we can, do you think having slaves is morally permissible? In the Old Testament, it was allowed. We don't, I'm saying now. No, we live in the New Testament. That's why we're going to get to it. We don't follow, like, Christians don't follow the Old Testament because they don't live during that time. You're still supposed to take the Old Testament into account. And I'm trying my best to let you and me have a conversation without yelling. So I'm like, do you understand that when they had slaves, what was immoral that they did to these slaves? Having slaves to begin with is immoral. Well, again, tell me why it's immoral just to have a slave. What do you mean? What's immoral Because you're it? owning people as property. It's dehumanizing. It's objectifying inherently. Are they? Are they? You are stripping them of their rights. Do you hear something? What the hell is that? Yes. I don't know what the fuck that is. Hello. Hello. Oh, TikTok glitched. I think it was like a different live. And maybe now your comments are frozen. I don't see nobody's comments. Uh, I'll keep staying on. I think that I think that might be you, Bessie. Yeah, it's me. But I don't care. I don't need to see him. But again, so God commanding slavery is immoral to you. It disproves God, right? That's what you're saying? God is supposed to be all good. Give me one you second. Someone knock in one second, please. Oh, okay. 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 I fear he is not cooking. You know, I might, I might move on to the next guest, perhaps. Hold up, I'm right here. Person. Oh, All right. hi. Yeah. All right. So again, what did you say? What's wrong about it? I'm saying this disproves God because God is supposed to be all good and right. commands slavery. Does it command? It regulates it. He specifically said to take slaves. He's regulated it again. Show me the show me in the Bible that. So you think slavery is okay as long as it's regulated? God had to regulate it. Moses is the one that helped regulate it. Do you think slavery is okay as long as it's regulated? That's how God controlled it. He regulated slavery. Do you think slavery is okay as long slavery as it's regulated? Slavery is not okay, regulated? but God regulated it. Okay, so you think that God did something bad? He set laws on it. Because these men he commanded it and then set laws on it. So he set laws on slavery so people wouldn't unalive their slaves. He commanded the slavery first. Then he set the laws on it. I don't know if he commanded it first because I haven't really dove deep into it. You gave me this verse today. I would have to study more. But you, you, we, I'm looking at the verse but on that's my one laptop. Verse. You can just look at the verse. Damn, that's one verse. We have to okay, go through context. Okay, so are we just going to ignore? I told you the context. No, 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 I, you have to read from the God start. Spoke to, God spoke to Moses because the people around the Israelites were being sinful. So Moses imparted onto the Israelites, hey, the people around you, they're doing fuck shit. All right. I don't think that's good. Take them as slaves. Yes, sh Ooh. so show me the New Testament. Since I'm Christian because I came up here, God regulated the Old Testament. Can you show me the New Testament where Jesus teaches us to have slaves? I don't have a verse from the New you Testament. You can't. So again, Christians come in the New Testament. We follow the New Testament and we listen of the Old Testament. We, we learn from it. But Christians live only because the New Testament came. 
that's where Christianity was came involved. And if you can't provide, you know, you're not supposed to ignore the Old Testament. Again, we're not ignoring it. We're trying our best to comprehend it and understand it. But we follow. It was pretty simple that he said. But we follow Jesus. Christians follow Christ. That's why it's called Christianity. So can you provide uh, a verse in the New Testament that says we can own slaves? Go ahead. Lord, how If you person. can't provide a verse, then I don't know. You just, I already gave you a verse. That's You're Old just Testament. Not Christians it. don't live in the Old Testament. You follow the Old Testament. No, and the I don't. New if Testament. I follow the Old Testament, that means I'd have to follow all the all the laws. All yeah, the laws. You're supposed to. No, we're not. We follow Christ. Okay. So show me Jesus teaching his disciples that we could own slaves. And are you uh are you are you like uh are you part of their group that you have in the background? No. So you're straight? No. Oh, uh, then you're part of the group. Well, I'm not lesbian. I'm I'm queer. I'm not specifically lesbian. Mhm. Mm and why did you leave Christianity? Because God commands slavery. <laughs> In the Old Testament. Ephesians um six verses five. That's Paul. And eight. Paul, yeah. Nope, I said Slaves Jesus. That's Paul. That's Paul. Paul is teaching that. I said Jesus. So do you not follow, you follow the New Jesus, Testament? You follow Christ. Can you show me in the four Gospels? Where oh, Jesus do you did? just ignore everything no, else in the Bible? No, but you're not, uh, you're not listening to my question. I asked you specifically, show me what Jesus teaches. That Paul. Jesus. Paul's, a, Paul's an apostle. So I asked you... Christ. Why what? does it have to specifically be Jesus? Because that's who we follow Christ. We listen of apostles. We listen to, you know, what they, their advice, but we follow Jesus. So can you show me what Jesus commands us to do it? I don't believe so. You can't in the full gospels, right? Because that's what he teaches. Okay. That's where we got his teachings. The full gospels is only, that's his, oh, okay. that's when he okay. walked on earth. So yeah, so since you can't find that, then I don't know what to tell you. So you just ignore the rest of the Bible. We don't know, but also you could go okay. to Paul. You could go to Paul. So, so I just want to make sure I get. Wait, this you straight. could go to Paul though. Go to Paul. So you don't. So you don't ignore the rest of the Bible. But for this in particular, you are going to ignore the rest of the Bible. No, go because ahead. Because it has. If you to want to read Paul, if you want to read Paul. Go ahead and read Paul. But it's not. That's not. I told you specifically. Give me a verse that Jesus said it. But this is Paul. Go ahead and give me Paul's verse. Right. Why would it have to be specifically Jesus? Why? Because that's who we, we follow Jesus, Christian. So you don't follow anything else in the Bible? We don't what follow Jesus the Old Testament laws. No Christian follows the Old Testament laws. There are people like Hebrew Israelites. Oh, thank you for the $10, Rihanna. I too was bored. Also, thank you for the compliment, my love. The cherry picking was crazy. Hello? What the sec? <laughs> oh? Thank you, Pat. Oh, Rihanna. I'm sorry. Thank you, Rihanna. I'm sorry. Let's see. Moving on to the next guest. Hello? With the second one. <laughs> Oh, I get tired too, Anna. I get tired too. Hey. Hello. Hi. How old are you? Hi. Huh? How What'd old you say? are you? I'm 19. What year were you born? 2005. 
do you think being lesbian is wrong? Okay. Um, so I just, I want to come into this conversation saying that I'm just trying to be respectful here. Um, and that I, I am a Christian and I am also gay. Um, so here's the thing. I believe that, that God created the world and human beings I need to be and designed too. us in a specific way. That's what I think. Um, I'm being vague. I'm sorry. Um, Why? So here's here's my my perspective. Wait, but but before we even continue, mm -hmm. do you think it's wrong? Yes, I do. Okay. On a certain level, I do. Um, from my story, from what I believe, it is from again my belief as a christian it is explicitly stated that homosexuality is wrong from the teachings of both the disciples and jesus i believe that i was i i have attraction to other women because I believe that God wants to use my story to testify to other people. Could you elaborate? Sure. Please. So, um, I was not a Christian for a very long time. And I was, I was told that from being in the church my whole life that you can't be gay, that's wrong, that's bad, that blah, 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 blah. Awful. Um, I, I believe that I am, <sighs> words are hard sometimes. Um, it's okay. <laughs> um, so, thank you for the pinch face, Anna. Are, are you still there? Hello? Sorry, I got a call. I got to go. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. No worries. Bye-bye. All right. I hope that they're going to be okay. Thank you for the heart post, Anna. Hello? Hey, host. Hi. How old are you? Uh, 1981. I'm old as shit. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Uh, no, not at all. But to the point where you're oh, talking, no, no. But uh, don't go cut me off just yet. Uh, to the okay. point of you're talking about whether women are violent or not, I have a dispute. Whether women are violent? Well, if you look at the lesbian DV rate as in domestic violence rate, you can find out that it's worse than the actual nuclear rate. So it kind of proves that, does it not? That women are violent? The women are more violent when it comes to relationships, yeah, because men get slammed in this app a lot. Uh, you seem like a nice girl, though. I'm not going to be disingenuous with you. I'll let you speak. Um, but certainly, if you want to go down uh, statistic rates, we can say that 80% of incarcerated come from single mother homes. 90% of homelessness come from single mother homes. And I'm not blaming single mothers, to be quite honest, just to let you know. I'm not slamming women, I think that uh, without things like roughhousing for the father as a young age, women lose control of young men around 13 to 15, around testosterone is the same with young women um, who don't get stability without having a father in the home. <laughs> the people in the chat can blame the fact that it's father's leaving, but actually when it comes to 80% 
divorce rate from mothers and at 90 percent and educated it seems like it's not actually fathers leaving but and i have sources for this that they, they, these are a lot of there's a lot of things that you're saying right now but well, you want to know I the multi variant you, you can actually do it yourself um, you can the chambers. well yeah no, from what yes, i've seen with like yes, the domestic easy, violence yeah. rate specifically um the reason and, why the rate is so high is because the they're taking into community. account Yes, in the lesbian community. Okay. The reason why the rate is so high is because these stats are taking into account any time that lesbian has been in a domestic violence situation ever, including if they have been abused by men in the past. Okay. It's not lesbian relationships. It's how many people who identify as lesbians and are in relationships that have been domestically abused. I, I think you'll find actually that that's a feminist stat uh, and the multivariate breaks it down to single mother homes. Uh, and actually, you're wrong about that. No, I don't. I'm not being disingenuous with you or trying to uh, I'm, I'm asking, you know, condemn, I'm your, the condemn your rhetoric. But when you're indoctrinated over 60 years of feminism, I can understand why you might think that way. Okay, so I'm getting what I just said from the Williams Institute. Do you have like? Yeah, I have mine the from contract? the jails. Yeah, they're from a multi-variant. Um, I have a few different sources. If I can give you an actual, uh, probably the better version of it would be that somebody actually multi-variant it before and put it in a readable context. Otherwise, you have to go down a route of finding out between USA and uh, UK stats, because I won't go any more than western community on it because if you want to go into congo and stuff for rapist part of war and shit like that that's go out of control but uh yeah certainly between uk and uh, western stats if you break down the multi-variant in between the incarcerated rate between the us and the uk yeah you get about an 80 percent rate i can give you um a sort of stat on it but you would literally need to do the multivariant yourself, which does add up. So it's not it's not something I'm talking shit about. It's honestly something that you have to work out yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you saying the problem here is the women? Not at all. That's where I'm not against women at all. I think that uh, without the likes well, of... Well, no, black, I mean in the single motherhood situation, yeah, do you think I that think the problem I, is that there are women? No, I agree with you, love. I, I, I think it's a horrible statistic. And uh, I think when you break it down, women, especially feminists, would love to break it down to single fathers, um, you know, leaving No, I'm, that's not what I'm trying to... That's well, not well, going well that's not what statistics point to. Statistics actually point to the fact that 80% uh, incarcerated that ninety percent of homeless does come from single mother homes, and I think it's the fact that uh, between thirteen and fifteen, usually testosterone age, that uh, mothers lose control of boys, where they don't have the father to give them balance, and the same with girls when it comes to body count and stuff like that. They don't have the same stability when it comes to a good father in the home. Interesting. So I don't think that these outcomes are because the parent is female. Um, yeah, also, again, I don't have the sources for this. Well, no, it's because they're in a single parent household. Yeah, because but when what, it's what two women, the single parent when it's two, household? when it's two women raising a kid, the parent outcomes are similar to that of a, a two parent household with a heterosexual couple. Yeah, I get you. So the you, problem here would not be women. 80% uh, divorce rate coming from women, 90% an educated woman would actually say that you're quite wrong about that. Okay, so can I have like, again, sources for You this? want a source? Uh, yeah, I do. Well, well, it's a very easily, it's a very easily looked up source. Um, it's nothing I'm talking shit about. It's something that can be Googled. I don't like using Google, but if you want to use the multivariant on the incarcerated, the homeless, the unaliving rate in young men, then it's, uh, it's quite easily looked at that it points to single mother homes. So I can't just, you can't just give me the source. I can, I can give Okay. It's Thank horrible. You. Do you want to actually do the mathematics to this? Because it took me about six and a half hours, but if you want to go down that road, I can give you what to look at. Okay. 
Can I please you just know, have the swords? No problem please. at all, because that's all you have right now, isn't it? Right, okay. Sure. Right. 100%. It definitely has nothing to do with the fact that raising a child on your own is hard as fuck. <laughs> or anything like that. To the person asking why I'm waiting, I'm genuinely curious after the not so slick shit talk. Um, that I was just provided with. I really need to see these stats, like, real bad. I'm, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. I'm actually trying to give you the stats right now, but you keep talking over me. Can you give me two seconds? No, I'll read them out to you. When, when you leave, no, no, I can't I'm not, hear you. No, I'm not leaving. I'm right here. You're trying to make me leave. You're trying to speak over me. You're trying to act and put me in a box. So I'm trying to... No, when, not, when you no, leave no, the, no, but when you leave the app, the I can't hear... Oh, my God. Shut up. When you leave the app, no one can hear you. I can only hear you when you come back. Yeah, that's okay. I was okay. not talking over you. We yeah. can't... We couldn't hear you. No, that's okay. That's fine. Just stop me and okay. I'll, I'll give you, right? Okay. So, okay. are, are you ready for a real big analysis here, which you have to start off with? Uh-huh. Right, okay. So, your first analysis is from the, fi the, the fixed family courts, okay? Uh-huh. What's the name of the article? So it's actually from the Fixed Family Courts UK. You can look it up on uh, .gov.uk, Family Courts. You can slash it and you can get the analysis, which is only one analysis. There's also the body count analysis in there if you want to read that. Um, it's about pretty much when it comes to pair bonding and how pair bonding is destroyed by, um, yeah, too much... Um, thing that looks like a chicken right um what's what's the name of the article like if i just look up family courts it's going to give me the entire like but, database but that's, I, that's, I need specifically but, yeah but that's what i'm trying to explain to you it's a six hour analysis of what it took me so the first thing is you look up the fixed family courts the second thing is you actually look up the incarcerated between the us and the uk so you have to do this analysis yourself it's actually put on all our websites where people have broke it down and give you an easier thing Sir, to read. i'm not talking Talking about the analysis, I'm saying you said look at the fixed family courts. I'm saying what is the name of the page that I'm going to? So www.familycourts.com slash UK. Oh my god. Oh, 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 so what oh my, my analysis, God. my analysis is dumb, Sir, then, right? No, you're not telling me the name of the article. You I'm just keep giving well, me can, the URL. I can, I can give you, you just keep I can giving give you me a, the URL. Okay, okay, I can give you and summarize. So, just, so do you want a summarized I version? I don't want a summary. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my well, God. I'm, I'm telling you it's a multivariate okay. six hour okay. analysis. Okay, so. okay, okay. I'm gonna explain this to of you like you this. Of course you are, right? Let me if hear I were your to feminist look up, rhetoric. I, what? Yeah, because you won't listen to my analysis, which dude, I can't you, find you it. You You're not part. telling me the name of the I article. I am. I'm giving you the You're first just part. telling me the, the name comes from the of the website. Yeah, it does. Yeah. 
the density. It, well, the it, family it courts hurts. are what? What do the family the courts do? Let's the break density, it down for the you. Density what hurts. does the family court the do? The density hurts. Yeah, it does. Your, Sir, brain, your brain and your rhetoric really hurts. I'm going to try and explain this to no, you I'm gonna in the try best and way really I possibly explain can. explain it to you, but you won't no, listen. You don't know what I'm asking you for right now. No, I'm, I'm actually breaking I the don't, analysis I don't, down to you. I'm not bit. asking you to break anything down well, you for are. me. You literally I'm not. Are. I'm specifically not. Well, you specifically are. I'm going to try and explain this. You're asking like me this. for a source. Sir. I'm trying to give you the source. On. Now you're going to try and put on. me in a box. Hold, I'm not trying to put you in a box. Can I please try and explain what I'm asking you okay. for? Be, don't be Thank disingenuous you. and be nice. I'm not being disingenuous. Like I'm not being disingenuous. If I were to look up the National Institute of Medicine, because I wanted to give someone a source, they would go, what is the name of the article within the database? What does that if got I to just do with kept what I'm saying, saying is family courts? If I just kept saying the National Institute of Health, it wouldn't help them. But it didn't I would say have that. to give them this I would have to give them the specific name of the article from the National Institute of Health. It is yeah, the I just, same I give issue you the first here. Part, yeah. You gave me the family court. No, I give you the you're first part of a multivariant analysis. You're not giving me specifically because you the won't title of listen. the analysis. You won't listen. Am I being trolled right now? I'm giving I have you, to be I'm being trolled right now. I'm giving you the first part of the analysis. I'm telling you, thank it's a you, multi -variant. Thank you for the ten dollars. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Bro, you have to be kidding. You. You have. You have to be kidding. You. I, my brain cells, they're, they're melting. They're melting. They are melting. Hello? Hello? All right, well, goodbye. Caro, everyone understood what I was talking about except him. But also, I got paid ten dollars at the same time from two different people to get rid of this individual. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda, and also to Diane for for sending me <laughs> for sending me the ten dollars. Thank you, Stormy. Oh, what was going through his head? Oh no, I know what was going through his head. Nothing. It was absolutely nothing. But I mean, I guess if I'm gonna be more specific, he thought that I was trying to ask him to do the work of the analysis for me. Um, because by analysis, he just meant that he went through the database and looked for things. I'm asking him to give me what specifically he looked at and he couldn't do it. I kicked you because you, you didn't connect. Your Wi-Fi is that of a toaster. Hello? Hello? Hey, hey. Hi. I'm good, thank you. Um, how old are you? I'm 18. Okay. Um, what year were you born? 2006. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Uh, yeah. Why's that? I don't know, like, it's just something about, like, here, one second. I'll, I'll find this, um, website. I was just on two seconds ago about it. Let me take a second. Okay. Now listen you here, you stupid nigger. You get your gay ass shit off my phone before I come over there and turn you into oh. a piece of farm equipment, you stupid nigger. Get out. Yeah! Yeah! Whack cowboy. Oh. Intriguing. Maybe on to the next guy. Hello? Reparations immediately. Hello? 
Hello. Hello. It's wrong to be lesbian because. Anyway. And. Anyway. Any any anyway. Anyway. Y'all, please help me ask questions if you think being lesbian is wrong, and also follow me if you fuck with me. Hello. Hello. Hi. How old are you? Hi. Um. I'm 20. And what year uh, were you born? What? What year were you born? Oh, I'm uh, I'm 20. I'm uh, wait because I'm uh, I'm French. Um, 2004. Luckily, do you think being lesbian is wrong? Well, I think. Oh. What did the profile picture say? I couldn't tell. Jazz! Oh, it, it, it was the bad German guy? Oh, then that's for the best. Then that's probably, that's probably for the best. Never mind, Kaz. Good job. Good job, Kaz. This person is not joining. I guess there is a bigger convention going on. I I fucking guess. I I fucking guess. Hello. Hello. Hi. How old are you? Uh, Thirty. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Um. Morally or socially? Morally. Yes. Why? Because it brings no value to society. It's just like two women making out and um, playing with each other's rugs. There's no, ch no children being born. Interesting. There's more domestic violence. Do you think eating is wrong? Oh, I wish I could show you what I'm eating right now. I just cooked the best meal. I'm glad. But do you think eating is wrong? Um. Matter of fact, specifically, eating like a like a, a like a like a cupcake. A cupcake? You could eat yeah. once a month, but eating is not wrong because it's for survival. Being lesbian is not for survival. It's for pleasure. Well, yeah, you're not eating. You're not eating a cupcake for survival either. Well, you kind of are. You're eating a are, cupcake for pleasure. What? If, what if your blood sugar is low, and you? Yeah, but it's not like you eat cupcakes every day. Okay, so it's fine to to be lesbian as long as you're not fucking every day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So being lesbian is fine, as long as you, like, space out your intercourse. Yeah. And what, what would the spacing out have to be, specifically, if you don't mind me asking? Just, like... I don't know. Uh, you have to know that you're actually in love. Like, not... Not, like, every day. Can you not fuck your partner every day if you're in love? No, that's just a honeymoon phase toxic karmic relationship. Why is that toxic? If you're attracted to your partner and you love them, you probably won't fuck them. Because you need to know that your relationship isn't based around sex. It's impossible to know that your relationship isn't based around sex if you want to have sex every day? No, it's not possible, no. You know, I mean, sex isn't the only thing people do in a relationship, right? 
like the average sexual encounter lasts 10 minutes. I mean, I think if you have 10 minutes a day fucking your partner and then the rest of the day doing other things with your partner, I, I think it's safe to say that sex isn't the only thing that you want. You have to have an emotional connection. I feel like women are mostly lesbians, especially nowadays. It's because they have a mutual hatred for men, not because they love each other. And you think this because? Well, we talked about this last time. You put a timer on me last time, too, because I don't know why. That's not me. My hands are over here. Well, it was you. It, it, it wasn't me. Oh, it was one of your feminist man haters. Got it. I don't hate men. Um, My mod that put the timer on you is a man. No, he's probably like a simp and I know you have two boyfriends, so you don't, it's not even that you like them, it's just that you like that they provide for you and worship you. Provide me with what? Money. Money. I pay for our dates most of the time. That's pretty sad. That means you're in your masculine. I offer. I like being for our dates. You're a controlling person, I, I know. I know how you are. You talk in that tone, and then, like, you rile people up. You think you're smart, but you asked me a question, I answered it. You sound a little, like, personally affected by I'm my good. existence. I'm good. You guys are all the same, honestly. Who's you guys? The alien, trying to be different, feminist... Uh, anime whatever the alien trying to be different feminist whatever yeah you all try to be like oh, i have to get that tattooed on me but you're all the same <laughs> anything else yeah are you okay i'm great i don't sit on here talking about the same shit every day This is the second time you've been here, right? Yeah. Did you come up here to criticize me being here doing this while you're doing the same thing? What am I doing? I'm trying to help you. You are having this conversation with me on the same topic with the same person whilst it... criticizing the person who is facilitating the conversation. Does your mouth close when you try to condescend people or do you like to keep your lips open? I'm not condescending. I'm, I'm just asking, like, if you don't like what I'm doing, which is fine, like, why would you come up to participate in what I'm doing? Why is my mic being turned off? My my mods don't like you. But stop muting them. Just just let him say whatever the fuck he's saying. I, I don't care. Um. Okay, so like... This Do you society, have an argument or... No, this society has turned into like, I'm smarter than you, listen to me. But really, there's going to be a time where you're going to get old as a woman and you're going to want to be more feminine and it's going to be too late. So I recommend you stop hating men. I don't hate men, but thank you for the advice. Yeah. Anytime. Looks like I'm the one that's bothering them. Bothering who? The hundreds of messages that are being written every millisecond. Well, yeah, because like you're being pretty gross, like I'm as far not. as grossness goes. I'm really not. It's pretty. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty gross. I'm, I'm being what everyone. I'm saying what everyone wants to say. Who's everyone? Because I don't think it's the people in the comments. Every, every self-respecting man that's tired of this shit. Tired of... Uh, arguing, women existing? Arguing with teenage girls who think they're smart because they sound logical and talk robotically. Well then, if you don't like arguing with me, then why are you here? I could argue with you. Well, you just said you don't like it. Why would you force yourself to do something you don't like? You couldn't argue with me one-on-one. -on -one. 
You need your little, your simps to like egg you on. Well, I didn't really answer my question. I don't need to answer your question. Okay. You so just, just to clarify, do you not know how to leave by yourself? No, why would I leave? Well, you just said I could kick you, implying that you would like to exit, which is fine. No. But like, you why can't you just me. exit on your own? You know, you're controlling and I'm trying to fuck with you. So do it. <laughs> I really, really, really don't think you're okay. I don't think you're this okay. This is a very odd interaction. I think that your whole existence is not okay. I would never want you to think that I'm okay. Uh, why? Because you're so strong? No, because if I'm ever doing something that you specifically approve of, I'm probably doing something wrong. What do you, is that an insult? I'm just letting you know that I, I'm not really interested in whether or not you think I'm like a, a man hater or like I'm condescending or whatever. Like I thought we were going to have a debate and it just kind of sounds like you're upset at the world. Your question is, which is even, fair because like the world is fucked. But like, what's that got to do with me? Your question isn't even a question. It's just like a bait, like it's low frequency baiting. The question itself is, yes, bait to get people who think that being lesbian is wrong to come up. That's why I asked the question the way that I do. And clearly it worked. Not really. I don't really care. Okay, so then, again, why are you here? Uh, to see how many disgusting simps there are in this world, and there are a lot. You know, there are other places to go find simps, right? Oh, for you, yeah. You could find them on the street, I bet. Thank you? Well, even a fat girl can. What's wrong with being fat? Uh, everything? I feel like you're just really attracted to me and you're having a hard time expressing that without being a weirdo. That's very narcissistic of you to think. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Well, then you got a lot to work on. You could just say no. I'm not attracted to you. I think that you're pretty stupid. Okay, so then why do you keep coming up here to talk? Oh, he got a flag for hate speech. Well... Well, anybody else uncomfortable? Because I am. Jinkies. <laughs> I'm itchy now with crazy work. Anyway, follow me if you fuck with me. Cash at Venmo and PayPal are indeed in the bio. Hello? Hello. Hi, how old are you? 23. Okay. When were you born? 2001. <laughs> Amanda said I might need a shower. That's crazy work. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? I don't think being lesbian is normal. Well, by definition, it wouldn't be normal, but that's not what I'm asking you. Yeah, therefore, I think it's wrong. Okay, so you think all things that are not normal are wrong? Yes. Okay. Do you think having blue eyes is wrong? Uh, hmm. And when you def can you define wrong the sense that you're using word wrong in, in the case of blue eyes? I don't think having Morally. blue I don't think having blue eyes have any moral value value it would just be amoral. Okay, so then why do you think being lesbian because has I think moral be value? because I think yeah the distinction between having just blue eyes uh, versus being lesbian for having one having moral value whereas the other doesn't is because of. Um, 
like I would just say virtue, like virtually speaking, um, I do value human survival and being lesbian takes away from, from engaging in to be able to support uh, reproduction, reproducing. Therefore, the abnorm being abnormal in that case, in that sense, would be seen as wrong. Quote unquote Interesting. wrong. So, two things. One, um, queer people are the people who adopt the most often. If it weren't for queer people adopting children, those children would probably remain in the horrible circumstances they do, um, which would lead to, you know, them not being able to contribute to society or leading to them dying. But also, do you think it's wrong for lesbians to just, I mean, for, for straight people to just not have kids? Like, should people be morally obligated to have children? Um, I would say if you are in a relationship and you guys are fit to be, and you guys see yourself fit to be together, having kids would be more sensible to have, yeah. No, but that's not what I asked. Would it be morally wrong to not have kids? Should people be yes, morally Yes, if you can contribute to, to be, kids? yes, if you can contribute to being, having the to benefit the human uh humans or human as a uh, species then yes you should be people should be morally obligated to have kids i just want to make sure that's your stance it's morally better to have kids than not should people be obligated to have kids when you say obligated are you saying that there should Forced. be con are you saying there should be consequences if you don't yeah uh, yeah, the consequence should be go find a new partner where you can have kids with. The problem is not that the partner doesn't want to have kids and you do. The problem is you don't want kids. Exactly. Is it wrong to yeah, not want st kids? Or stop getting in a relationship. So you shouldn't be allowed in a relationship unless you want to have kids. <laughs> yes. There's no way you believe this. Before we continue, there's no, do you actually believe this? And more importantly, I do also want to address another point really quickly about the shelter, about queer people adopting most kids. Um, what is the percentage of the population of humans being queer and of those that adopt kids? The population of people that are queer is like 5%. Um, I have the study for the amount of people that adopt. What is it like, called? Like that are queer. Hold on. But also, do you think being infertile is wrong? Uh, do I think being infertile is wrong? And if you're talking about wrong in the sense of not being normal, then, then, then yeah, I think a woman who is born... Morally. Morally. Oh. Uh, but then, uh, morally speaking, is it... Because that's, the, that's the context of the conversation, by the way. Just to clarify, we're talking about morality. Oh, okay. Well, that does help. Um, hmm. Again, I don't know how you would assign moral values to someone who is infertile. Could, like, could they choose to do otherwise? Oh, wait. So do you think being lesbian is wrong because you think lesbians choose to be lesbian? No, no, no. Well, I was... I was trying to nev not get you there, but um, but also no. What I would ask you, if you don't mind me answering your question with the question, do you think uh -huh. a les a, a, someone who is lesbian or gay could do otherwise if wanted to? Like, is it is it logically possible for them to be otherwise? For them to engage for in, them in, to in, not be for them to engage no, no. in other acts? Yeah, or for, for not yes. to engage. Okay, and now is it also logically possible for a woman to decide not to be infertile? No. Right. So that's why I think there's that is the one distinction that I would classify one being different from another. Well, right, but in the event that these people do choose to go have sex with the sex they're not attracted to the psychological ramifications could be dire, which is why I wouldn't consider that um, an actual choice. I don't think that consent would actually be consent. That's, can you explain on that consent wouldn't be consent without running into like, you know, self-contradictory? Sure. Um, so consent is 
require to not have like a power dynamic skewing it something that makes it um mm. like unbalanced right like there needs to be an equal playing field in order for there to be consent but in order for someone to consent to sex with someone they have absolutely no attraction to whatsoever um i don't see how that could be consentful at all but there's no like power if you're that... repulsed by que by by being um if you're repulsed by like the phallus and then you have sex with someone with a phallus like why would they willingly do that but, but i don't understand that logic if you're using that as a repulse that anything can be considered repulsive if, like repulsive like the environment in your room if it's too cold or if your hormones are acting at that moment and you say oh you're consenting because of this there's too many external factors that will always be contributed but at the end of the day a consent is uh, in adults i'm talking about at the very least would be a yes from both both parties despite right, the but... despite the differences of any other external factors do you think just saying the word yes is consent and to adults yes like actually yeah uh, what do you mean if someone is engaging in an you think if someone's it, holding a gun to your head and they're telling you well, to no, do something and you well, say well, yes then it's well, consent well, no man without the cohesion of course if there's no cohesion involved of force being applied then yes Okay, so why would a lesbian ever have sex with someone with a penis if they're not attracted no, to the penis? Well, 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 you started talking about practic practically. I was speaking logically if they could do otherwise. Just to show you the distinction between someone who's infertile. They can't choose not to be infertile. It's logical. And they can't choose to be lesbian either. No, no, no. But we were talking about the action of engaging in them being uh, lesbian, of con con choosing to re like engaging in intercourse with someone they can't reproduce with. That's a choice that's being right. Made. So they wouldn't be engaging in being infertile. They would be engaging in having sex as an infertile person. In the same way, a lesbian would not be choosing to be lesbian, but they would be choosing to engage in lesbian sex. Yes. Right. So at the center of it these two people are not choosing to be the way that they are what they would be choosing is the sex part right oh yeah and then i would also just say that the woman who's infertile engaging in intercourse would also have, have no uh it would not morally make sense she has no purpose of engaging in intercourse if she can't reproduce so you think it's morally wrong for people with infertility to have sex for what purpose are they engaging in intercourse can't make kids pleasure so not all pleasures is morally good right we can understand that's not that what great. i said yeah but the, so pleasure itself is not enough justification is it now for sex for anything to be morally considerate right because and then and using your logic if you think it's morally just uh, permissible for an infertile woman to engage in intercourse because of pleasure then that would i can use any instance for be morally justified long as you get pleasure out of it I don't think it's morally justified. I think it's amoral. I also think being lesbian is amoral. And I also think being straight is amoral. Yeah, well, I guess we are clearly different in our thinking. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not understanding. No, yeah. But I'm not saying it's justified because of the pleasure. Like, I'm not arguing that it's morally right to be infertile and have sex. I'm right, saying right. it's amoral. But you ah. would be saying that it's wrong to be infertile yes, and I'm have sex. Yes, I'm arguing, yes. So, so why don't I just present the argument to you, rather, because you don't have an, a stance for it in particular, right? You're just saying it is what it is. You're, so you're saying that for someone who is engaging in, in lesbian in, intercourse is equivalent to someone kicking a rock on a sidewalk that has no moral value, right? It's just amoral. Yes. Yeah, fine. So, but whereas I'm saying that it would be considered immoral for an infertile woman to engage in intercourse with another man if it's not for the purpose intended of it of reproduction the okay, same so as all less, sex that is yes not had exactly for the of reproduction yes is that included, sex. including blowjob or oral sex is everything that doesn't in, that doesn't lead to human reproduction has no moral uh, sense for in, engaging in do you think revoking consent is wrong excuse me do you think provoking consent is wrong can you elaborate what's this like provoke like uh negating the consent like 
As in, like, you're having sex with someone, and it's at first for the purpose of reproduction. Okay. But then you don't want to have sex anymore. This would be stopping the reproduction. Would that be immoral? If you don't stop, yeah, if you keep continuing, that would call great, in fact. Right, but it's stopping reproduction. Yeah, therefore you should stop you should stop the, you should stop having sex no but if they keep going then the reproduction happens yeah i'm not i'm not i'm not a uh, oh well my airpod just died yeah i'm not uh promoting great so that would be i not, would hope not so yeah but that would be so that's just a whole different reason no reason would be okay with it not consensual even reproduction yes reproduction is only viable if both parties want to reproduce not just one why is that because you need to find a partner who wants to also ma reproduce that's according what you should to do. what yeah that's what you should do but why according is that i thought you. reproduction was paramount yes okay because again it's just for clear reasons for having mutual interests because now for that human so now because if the woman decides to abort she can do many other things that would interfere with the reproduction in the long run. We want happy. We want people to be happy. We want people to grow. So the grape is wrong because the mom might want to abort the kid. <laughs> no. Well, if you word it like that, in that instance, yes. But in other instances, it would be for different reasons. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. Huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you're like a little huh? shocked, but that's what it is. That's what it's getting to, you know? Get, 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 get the fuck off of my platform. That's, that's, that, that's, 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 no. 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 Hello? Well, uh, before I start, on behalf of old man, let me apologize for the two douchebags you had up on up on here. I'm a head. I greatly of, appreciate your apology. I'm a heterosexual guy, but first, let me apologize for the douchery that these guys were spewing up here. It, it it baffled my IQ there for a little bit. You're not the only one, Bestie. You're not the only one. <laughs> um, How are you doing today? Besides listening to the buffoonery that people spew. They might have ruined my whole day, I'm not gonna lie. Um, also, ju just for the, the person that, at, I mean, for the, the last terrible guest, because he wanted the stat on queer people adopting. Um, Same-sex parents are seven times more likely to raise adopted and foster children than heterosexual couples. Hey there. Mute it. It's it's not coming in. Host, they can't hear you. Host, it's muted. friend I'm, I'm glowing again my my friend david called me um do so you guys hear me now my point is this right i don't think it's wrong um at the end of the day whoever somebody chooses to love is none of my business it's 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 really um it's only chastised by men that secretly want to be with a lesbian but can't that's cool. that's the only reason that I can see people hating on lesbians because uh, y'all's tea has been clocked. You know, so, so you know, because lesbianism is such a taboo. It's such a, to me, it's a taboo that it is it is prompted by not only the corn industry, but it's it's something that most men witness at a young age, right? Most men from the ages of 16 to 18 will witness uh, lesbian corn at least three times in their lifetime. So they, and the way it's prompted by the corn industry is like, it looks fun, you know what I mean? But it's not, it is just shunned upon those prunes 
I'm pretty sure the two guys that came up here have lesbian corn on their on their history site, but come up here to seek their self righteousness, and that is condescending. Quite. I will say just one thing though. Try not to use the word lesbianism because it's not an actual word. It's a dog whistle. Oh, okay. Um, but ate down. You ate not only the table but also the cloth, the, the plates, the utensils. I fear the floor that held the table too is also been devoured. Um, thank you very much for that yeah, lovely take. I, I, I'm a millennial. I'm an old-fashioned guy. I'm a millennial, and I'm, a lot of my friends are part of the LGBT. They're like, they're they're in the L group. They're pretty cool people. I protect them as one of my own. So you know, and like when I hear people talk bad about them, like. What are they doing that's hurting you in the long run? Okay, so are you mad because there are two women that won't, wouldn't give you a chance in the first place, or yes. are you jealous of the fact that she actually got, she can get more women than you can in, in any Damn. platform, you know? Damn. And they can call I, me the same all they want, but they don't even know the definition to that word either. Sir, you're slaying too hard. I'm gonna have to drop you. I wasn't prepared for the slayage. Um, <laughs> thank you very, very much. Um, eight, the house down, Boots. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, you and this will be remembered. Well, ignore the buffoonery that comes after me, okay? And will. Thank Have you. Have a nice night. You too. Bye-bye. Eight down. Eight, the fuck down. Eight the fuck down ate the fuck down hello hello hi how old are you 20. do you think being lesbian is wrong yes why because one it destroys the community it's very demonic and it causes a lot of destruction <laughs> okay let's start with number one it destroys the community could you elaborate well, you have the LGBTQ trying to push the narrative to try to put on kids thinking that it's okay to be gay, whether or not... If why is it old. not? Because it's not. But, like, why? Because that is a free choice, a free will choice caused by a lot of people who have probably been raped when they was kids, molested. Wow, that's crazy. Like, you can't say those words here. Um, oh, sorry, TikTok sorry, sorry. Like you. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I don't really be on TikTok like that, but yeah. Okay, so do you have a source for any of this, or is this just speculation? Well, yeah. Um, you know, if you read the Bible, there's plenty of scriptures oh. where, okay, you know, it quotes, "No homosexual shall inherit to the kingdom of heaven." All right. So, can you prove to me that God is real? Yes, a creation of a building and a tree. It's rational evidence that he's real. The creation of a tree? Yeah, and a building. All right, so the creation of a building is one thing. What do you mean by the creation of a tree? Like a tree being created is rational evidence that God is real. So now when you have... What is creation? Creation is creation. You have to have a creator in order to have... Define the word creation something being made right yeah. what is required for something to be made you have to have somebody with intelligence a rational mind and somebody that's all knowing to create cute okay so this presupposes that god exists well that's one of the things yeah no the the presupposition part is the problem like what do you mean like your argument already has baked in that God exists. You're trying to prove to me that he exists, but your argument requires him already existing. I mean, I just gave you rational evidence that he, his creation proves that he exists. I just said that. Well, yeah, but the part you would have to prove is that he's the one who created it. Like you can't just say trees exist, so it must have been my God. Like the part that you're missing is the part in the middle. You want me to give you a scripture? You, you can't prove the Bible with the Bible. That's circular. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and you're based on, right, who do you think created the world? 
if you if I think that it was the Big Bang. The Big Bang. Okay. Do you think that the Earth is eternal? No. No. Okay. So you believe that the Earth has a creation? Like, is it creation, right? Not a creation. No. I think the like the Earth being here is a a natural phenomenon. I don't think it was a creation. So if you don't think it's a creation, if you don't think it's eternal, what do you believe? That doesn't make sense. I believe in the Big Bang. So you believe that we were made by nothing? I don't think we were made. So you think that there was like consciousness going around to create human beings? I don't think there was, no. So what do you, so how do you think that we were made then? Chemical reactions. Chemical reaction. So you believe that chemical reactions without having an intelligent mind created human beings? Yes. How so? What, what do you mean how so? Like how do you, do you want me to do you want me to sing the Big Bang Theory theme song for you real quick? No, I'm saying like how do you believe Our that whole the whole universe was in a hot dense state and nearly 14 million oh years ago the expansion started <laughs> wait the earth began to glow the outer travels began to drill the end of dolls and bellow tools and built the wall this is ridiculous mad scientists turned around and in a mystery it all started with a big bang bang you have a cross sign on your forehead but yeah you don't believe in god yeah because i saw a goth makeup on pinterest and she had it right here so i put it there too because I thought it was cute. You know what that cross represents, right? It's cute. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Well, that's what it represents in Christianity. But the cross has many meanings across uh, religions and cultures. So. I, I can you prove that to me? Do, do you... Are you... Okay. Go ahead. I, I'm, do, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is sad, y'all. Demonic, give your life to Christ. Jesus loves all y'all. I'm not worried about any of y'all in the comments. I love each and every. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy work. Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. I think you muted yourself. I didn't. A friend was calling me. Oh. The history of the cross symbol. The history of the cross symbol can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as the Egyptians and the Assyrians. The cross has long been a powerful religious and cultural symbol, representing various meanings across different time periods and cultures. In recent times, crosses have also gained popularity in modern fashion, becoming a trendy accessory that holds both aesthetic appeal and symbolic significance. Moreover, the cross symbolism extends beyond the realm of fashion into pop culture. It is often depicted in movies, music videos, and album covers as a way to convey deeper themes or evoke certain emotions. The, um, the presence of crosses in modern fashion and pop culture reflects society's continued fascination with this ancient symbol. As we delve further into the history of cross symbolism in ancient civilizations like Egypt and Assyria, we will gain a deeper understanding of how these early cultures shaped its meaning over time. Would, would you like me to continue? Okay, so that claim you just made, where are you getting all this from? This is from Medium. From the media on Google? From from Medium. Oh, Medium. It's an article by Jasmine Starlight. It's an article by Jasmine Starlight. Okay, so you can give me an article based on your proof that crosses have different meanings. But yeah, when I try to give you my proof that God is real from my Bible, you don't want that. Well, yeah, because I just gave you outside evidence. Like, if you can give me outside evidence, like archaeological evidence, 
or or like like a like a study or like you gave me evidence on a human being that said that this has different meanings yeah like like it's like it's research yeah and my research is the bible you see how we're two and two no yes you're claiming the bible is real because the bible says it's real you don't see how that's circular no it's not just the bible before i even brought the bible towards you i gave you rational evidence that god is real that pre the evidence you gave me presupposes that god is real it doesn't prove he's real he is required to be real in order for your argument to work i don't think he's real all right so let me ask you this do you believe that our life has no purpose inherently so no so you believe that killers thieves robbers like it doesn't matter what they do that they can keep doing it right no it does matter not because god said so though i mean but earlier you're implying the fact that we're made from chemical reactions so everything that we do will be based on a chemical reaction instead of free will choices right that's what you're claiming our emotions come from chemical reactions yeah so that'll mean that if somebody kills somebody they're not really in the wrong because it was just a chemical reaction that caused them to do that do you think that i'm saying chemical reactions can be justifications for murder like how, how did we get there well i mean that's where you're like because you just said you believe that we're made from chemical reactions so everything that we do will be based on chemical reactions and we have no control over it because the chemical reactions is making us do these no things. one said we don't have control over it we're conscious beings we we're able to make up our mind but how can we do that if all the chemical reaction does it for us The brain is a conduit for energy Mm -hmm. and our actions, right? Mm -hmm. Chemical reactions are just what keep us alive, but we make our own decisions. We make our own decisions, okay. And chemical reactions made us think free willfully and make our own decision. They enable us to, yes. How, how can you do that with no brain behind it? we have the brain but they don't have a brain though so how can they have who's they the chemical reactions they have no brain so if they don't have chemical reactions make up our brain but how can they do that if they themselves don't have a brain how can a non-brain make a brain are you are you serious yes i'm serious Dead ass. I'm going on based on your logic. This is your logic I'm going on based on. Do you want me to look up how the brain forms for you right now? Well, that'll just be uh like your um how do you say it? Like just your claim or so. The same way you My say claim. That, the same way that you say that the Bible is just uh is what I believe that how God exists and it's real and just a claim, that's what I'm gonna use against you. No, my argument wouldn't be circular because I'm using outside sources. Your argument is circular because you're saying your argument is true because your argument says it's true. I'm using outside sources too by the creator who said it. You're not. I am. The Bible is the command of God, right? That is written because God wanted it to be written. You're saying God's word is true because God's word says it's true. You don't see how that's circular? And then, okay, it's not how of me just thinking that he said that is true. It's based on rational evidence that I gave you before I made that other claim of how what he said is true. Yes, you gave the example of the building and the tree. Let's start with the building. Oh. Well, okay then. Well, 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 okay. Well, okay. 
Bill and I, the science guy. Bill, Bill! Let's see what time is it? It's 11. Y'all, a spider crawled into my clothing bag and I'm scared to go in there and look. Hello? Hello. Hi, how old are you? 31. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? No. You said no? No. Purr! I'm not looking for opposition though. I do think looking like a clown is wrong though. Oh, well, I mean, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but personally, I enjoy it. Uh, why do you enjoy it? It's fun. For what reason? I like making art. It's kind of my thing. So I put colors and shit on my face. Do you like the song? It goes... Not My sides are splitting. Ciao, anyways. You mean I into the next guest? This might be the last one. Hello? Yo. Hi, how old are you? I'm 18. What year were you born? Sorry. What year were you born? 2006. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Not necessarily, but I think there's some problems within the lesbian community. Well, yeah, there are problems in every community, but that's not really what I asked. Yeah, but can I just, you know, make a rhetorical question? No. Rhetorical meaning no one's supposed to answer it? Rhetorical meaning a question answered only with a question. So, if lesbians are women, or like women, why do so many lesbians date butch lesbians, or like lesbians who look like men? Because I really don't understand that trend. Lesbians that look like men aren't men. You, you know, just butch lesbians, like what's the point? They, they don't want men. They like masculinity, but they don't like men. Yeah, but masculinity is something that's conveyed through man. It's if well, it's not, a man clearly or a woman, not if a woman can do it. It's not really just saying that it's bad. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm saying that it's if you're gonna go with a woman, can I use you know like sexually driven language? You know, mm -hmm. yeah. So if you're gonna use a woman who's gonna you know, put a strap on, which is a fucking fake piece of plastic, unless, or you're gonna use a man who's just gonna use his dick. It's, I think it's just, just like by dating men, you're cutting out the middle, man. I'm not like meaning that it's, you should be doing that necessarily, but I don't understand it from the perspective of a man. They, they just don't want the man part. They find the man part unappealing. Yeah, but such as how not every woman or every lesbian or every man is the same, it's... Maybe they just haven't stumbled onto the right man and they're just rushing to conclusions that they're lesbians. Are you attracted to men? No, uh, Thank you I for the know. dinosaur, Jasmine. Sorry? Oh, no, I said thank you for the dinosaur. I said, are you attracted to men? No, uh, I don't know. Fair enough. Um, do you think that it's fair to just tell people that they haven't found the right version of whatever gender or sex you're attracted to? Like... I mean... I, I, don't, I don't see how that would follow. If I find my soulmate and he's a man, which doesn't fall into my type, you know, like what I'm sexually attracted to and what I'm attracted to into as a person, if it's a man, maybe, I don't know. Uh, right, but they don't want that. Like it just kind of, it just kind of gives by curious, which is fine. But like they specifically do not want men, in the same way that straight men typically do not want a man, or how straight women do not want a woman. It's the exact same shit. It's just the other way around. Hmm. 
the other thing is, do you think that a lot of young girls just rush to conclusions that they're lesbians because of the situations around them? You know, like being indoctrinated, not indoctrinated, being put into the community by a friend or someone and then just assuming that they're lesbian because they felt some type of way at some point and they're not truly feeling that and they're regretting in the future. Because I I'm sure those people exist, but I don't think it's a lot of them. Because I think one of my friends, who was, a, who was a transsexual for a while, used to go to school. He, he was a guy originally, then he went into trans something and into a girl. He used to go to school with skirts and stuff. Then he suddenly stopped, changed his name at one point, then he changed it back. And man was honestly just confused, conflicted, and I think he almost started doing some of those procedures. That's not talking about lesbianism, but the other thing is he was going into transsexuality because he was still attracted to women and wanted to be a lesbian. So do you think that a transsexual man, a, a transsexual woman, a trans woman, a man who was a woman, who, a, a woman who was a man, a woman who was a man going into being a transsexual and then going afterwards? Wait, 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 wait. I can't tell what you're saying right now because you're like the way that you're describing it. Yeah, is I'm just fucking kinda... high right now. That's why. Oh well, <laughs> what am I? What am I supposed to do about that? You... Can... Can you not describe shit when you're when you're high off your ass? Like, how am I supposed to engage? Okay. So, do you think that lesbians are still attracted to trans women? Some of them are. But is it still just being attracted to the masculinity or is it just being attracted to the fucking... Uh... To them being a man looking like a woman? Well, trans women aren't men who look like women. They're they're they're, they're women. women. They're women. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Um, but if lesbians don't have, if lesbians don't have like a, a genital preference, then they'd be attracted to a trans woman because she's a woman. Like there are masculine women, there are feminine women, in the same way there are feminine men and there are masculine men. It's it's not the the genitalia necessarily that some lesbians are attracted to it's them being a woman that they find attractive amongst other things thank you for the whale diving amanda oh that's so fucking cool anyway nice talk i i don't want to take up any more of your time it was a nice talk i think everyone okay. should have free love 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 whoever you love and do whatever you want it's nothing is bad Enjoy your high. Thank you, sister. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. I think this will be the last... I think this will be the last guess. Also, once again, follow me if you fuck with me. Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal are in the bio. Hello? Hello? Okay, bye bye. Moving on. Hello? Hello? Hi, how old are you? I'm 20. Okay, do you think being lesbian is wrong? Ah, uh, you can do whatever you want. But what's wrong with your mindset, bro? Wrong by what? Your mindset. What about it? You got a cross on your forehead. Is that like white makeup or paint or face paint? It's white concealer. Oh, well, it's like, why you have this type of mindset? Don't is you think my makeup the mindset? Like, don't you no. think lesbian is being wrong? No. Why not? Because it doesn't cause harm. It doesn't like. <laughs> you believe in God? No. What does the cross mean to you? I just saw it on Pinterest and thought it was cute. Do you know it has a meaning to it? 
It has several meanings to it, yeah. But the meaning I assigned it is that it's cute. Oh, God. Well, God bless you. Bye bye. Moving on to the next guest. Hello? Hello? Could you hear me? Hi. Yes, I can. Hi. Hi, how old are you? I'm 18. I was born in 2006. Cute. Um, so I actually just have a question, Sam. Mm -hmm. So I actually looked it up and it's just, I'm just kind of confused on it. Um, you were talking about lesbianism and like how it wasn't a real thing. And I just, I'm just kind of confused on it. I don't like, I don't understand like the lesbianism thing. Mm -hmm. So could you explain that to me? Sure. So ism is usually in reference to like a political ideology. Um, so whenever people say lesbianism, um, it implies that being lesbian is some kind of ideology in the same way that you don't say G-A-Y-ism or heterosexualism. You say being straight or being G-A-Y mm. or being lesbian. That's the problem. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right. Moving on to the next kiosk. Ism can also be in reference to something that's systemic, but being lesbian is not systemic. Hello? Hello. Hi, how old are you? 19. What year were you born? 2005. Okay. What month? Uh, June 10. Okay. Do you think being lesbian is wrong? No, but, um,. Don't listen to those people that like make fun of you for your makeup because like there's it, it, really nothing wrong with your makeup. Like it's just it's simply makeup. I don't understand why like people get so offended by a cross. Just like bro. they really do. I I, I dead ass just thought it was cute. Like it's not that serious. But thank you for being so sweet. Literally. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. You too. Bye bye. All right, I'm gonna try and get an op in here. I'm gonna try and get one up. One up. Just one. A singular up. Hello. Hi, how old are you? 25. Okay, where are you born? Guess. You want, you want me to guess? Yeah. Oh wait, you've been here before? That, that. Dude, at least be funny. Please? Please be funny? Please! Hello? Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, how old are you? I'm 38. Okay, do you think being lesbian is wrong? Um, I think the question is not that if it's wrong or not. Well, that, uh, that is the question. Um, no, I, well, I, what I think, I'm, I'm against your question. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I well, then why did you... Yes, I came up to, to tell you that uh, maybe it's not the, that the question. First of, first of all, uh, you know, uh, well, I'm a Christian. And I think God, love, God loves you. Um, um, the only question is, it's only personal, it's for uh, each person, is that if that is the path that makes you happy. And well, that is something that you can only discover. Uh, also, it's something that I know you didn't decide if you are a lesbian. So in itself, you cannot say like you cannot blame the person for something like that it's, it's something that you don't uh, you don't decide uh, to to be you simply are like that um, but well yes it's like the question is personal is for every single person a lesbian or homosexual or bisexual or whatever is it's the, it is the path that makes you makes me happy, and that is that is all. More than being wrong or right, 
I think. No, yeah, I, I agree. But that's why I asked the question, because some people don't think that. Some people think that it is wrong. And those are the people that I, I try and talk to. Yes, yes. They, I would say, if I, if I have to answer your question, but I, only framing it in that way, is that it is maybe wrong, yes. Uh, but not wrong in the same way that you're thinking. What a, a Christian would think, a real Christian would think, is that maybe it's not the pathway that will make you happy. But uh, in that sense, yes, we could, you could say that. But it's not that no, uh, anybody has to uh, stop you from being that because you cannot, you cannot stop being that. You're simply like that. And that's all I wanted to say. So, uh, and God, love, God loves you, and thank you very much for giving me the space to tell you that. Well, thank you for coming up. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm trying to find ops, y'all. Y'all, I'm trying. I'm trying. I swear I am. I swear I'm trying. Or right, everything I love, I'm trying. Hello. Hello. Hi. How old are you? Uh, 18. Where were you born? Uh, November 19th, 2005. Okay, do you think being lesbian is wrong? What was that? Do you think being lesbian is wrong? Nah, I mean, how can I not like someone who also likes the same gender as me? <laughs> okay. Like, if I like women, how can I get mad at someone who also likes women? I... Fair we enough. Have same, we have the same goal. Per? Yeah. Period? Only thing I don't like about some lesbians is how they have the same haircut as an eight-year-old boy. Not all of them, but some. Why are we coming for the lesbian haircut? I'm sorry, but some of them... Why can't they... Listen, why can't they enjoy the little bit of, of a taper fade on the side with, like, like the, like the, the layers in the front with a little bit of fluff and a little bit in the back. Why yeah. Why can't they enjoy that? Well, they can. It's just, it's not exactly the best haircut on anyone at all. <laughs> you know what? You know what? The honesty is appreciated. Fair enough. Yes. Also, I can't say I necessarily disagree with you sometimes. But anyway. Yes. But anyway. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna end it there because that was that was a cute way to end the live. All right. That's that's cute. That was cute. Um, also, how do I get the spider out of my bag of clothes? Because I was trying to fold up my clothes and put them away, and there was a spider in there, and now I'm scared to touch the bag. I'm scared. Set it on fire. Get a new house. God damn it. Um, I am going live tomorrow and I'll probably go live with Ian because they just texted me. New kid. I live in a dorm. I can't light it on fire. I can't. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for your generosity. Um, and also put a curse on it. <laughs> Fuck off, guys. Um, anyway, thank you all for being here. I will see you all tomorrow. I love you more, Amanda. Mwah. Bye bye. And I will post on my story when I'll be going live. Um, I, I might need a priest. Shit. Um, see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.